Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I hope you're well. So in today's video, I wanna to talk to you about how to maintain and clean your camera's tripod. Now, I know a lot of us um, overlook our tripods. Uh, we abuse it and we, don't, and we very rarely maintain it. But these few steps I'm gonna talk about in this video when we're gonna actually strip it down, we're gonna do a complete deep clean with the tripod. Um, this will make your tripod last for years. Um, you might notice with your tripod legs, they're getting a little bit stiff or um, they're sticking in places. Maybe it's um, the tripod doesn't, the legs uh, creep as well uh, when you've got a bit of weight on it or they just don't hold. Well, this, in this video, we will uh, be able to resolve all of that and your tripod will be basically back to how it used to be when you bought it brand new. I should mention as well, I still have a ton of other videos that are coming from my adventure away. I just decided to do this today because it's a Sunday and I wanna put it out today as well, so I've gotta sort of hurry up with all of this um, because this could be the most opportune time to um, clean and maintain your tripod. So I've already gone out and I've cleaned this and I got the B-roll for this, so this is lovely and clean and um, undoing the legs you can hear that just glides it's just effortless uh, before it was a bit bit stuck um, I had to really sort of put a bit more effort into it but now I'll just be able to drop the legs down and, eat, and it's nice and easy I've also had um, this big tripod uh, by Pro Media Gear for about five years now and it's still going strong I haven't cleaned this one in a while because I haven't used it for a while but the legs still perform super well um, and if you need to uh, get into this part of the tripod, you can do it with most tripods, even some of the cheap ones. You just need to undo one screw on that side and one screw on that side, and then it just there's a little sheath that pulls out, and then you can actually remove the leg and actually clean the gubbins in there. Um, but yeah, it's um, yeah. So I just wanted to do it and um, yeah, and help you. Um, understand it and um, it's not really that hard to do anyone can if I can do it anyone can do it so uh, let's get stuck in and I'll show you how to do it step by step okay let's go over there our first thing we need is the WD-40 silicon spray I highly recommend this stuff our next thing is the microfiber cloth and then we also need our old crappy toothbrush which we'll use for scrubbing and getting into those grubby places Next we need to remove the feet so the water doesn't sit in the legs and we also need to remove these because it's part of the cleaning process. As you can see it's nice and easy to remove and I've always got the spikes on. Next we need to extend the legs fully um, so we can get full access to the outside of the tripod legs. Now this is nice and easy and uh, not too many section mark sections on my tripod. We need a nice powerful hose and get right in there and clean those little grubby bits. Uh, getting right underneath as well, uh, getting to all accesses. So yeah, you need to cover everything in water and uh, don't be afraid, but do not use a pressure washer. Now to start to remove the legs. This is quite easy, as you can see. And we need to remove every section so we can get to the inside of the tripod. This isn't too hard to do, it's quite nice and easy. And um, yeah, it just takes a few seconds really. Quickly stop you here uh, because I just remembered. Um, so if you don't have the twist lock legs um, and you've got these more like the clamp style like Manifrodo have here, um, yeah, we have to actually turn that and then pull the leg up to adjust it. Um, I wanna show you how to uh, dismantle the leg. So what you'll have is there's a little uh, locking screw right here that clamps down onto the, the upper leg above. You'll need to do it for each one. So yeah, this one right here is to adjust the clamp. So if your leg is slipping a bit, you just need to tighten that up and that will resolve that. So, but for this one, uh, you need to re remove this or undo it a fair amount, but don't do it all the way. And then what you need to do is just undo this little one here and just give it a little bit of a yank, a tug, and then it will remove itself. So yeah, now let's get back into that video. Okay, now we've got everything nicely laid out on the floor. Now we need to remove this plastic cap at the top here, which is our guide for the inside of the leg to stop it from rotating. Um, also, we need to remove the tripod uh, clamp uh, for the leg. Uh, this little bit of plastic is also quite fragile as well, so be careful when removing it. Now we've got everything laid out on the ground um, into groups. I highly recommend doing this, um, otherwise you could have run into problems later on when things don't quite fit. 
So yeah, it's nice and easy to do this. And um, yeah, it's nice to have a bit of OCD when doing these things. I think that's what I've got anyway. Okay, now we've got the inside of the tripod leg and as you can see, it's so grimy. We need to clear this stuff out, otherwise it's gonna cause us problems. Back out with the hose and we've got the high pressure again and getting rid of all that horrible dirty stuff. And also need to wash the uh, tripod clamp, the thread. Um, and yeah, as you can see, that's looking a lot better. Also wash the clamp, uh, get rid of any sand or anything that's uh, cl gonna clog it up. Um, more powerful the hose, the better. Now we actually need to clean this guy. Uh, so as you can see, there's a lot of black stuff on there. We're gonna use our WD-40 silicon spray for this. I find it dislodges it quite nicely. So spray a nice and decent amount on there. What we're gonna do is out take our microfiber cloth while being careful and just get in there and remove as much grime as we possibly can. As you can see, this is how it looks like now, but we've got some scores which is where the settlement is, sit in, is sitting into them. So yeah, don't worry too much but get it as clean as you possibly can. So yeah, that's ready to go. Um, now we need to just do a, one more final clean as, it, as I'm uh, using the hose, I'm slowly rotating the, the tripod leg. Now we need to do the upper section of the tripod leg. Now I've still got it attached to the tripod and I'm just putting a load of water through there. Now all the dirt is gonna go onto the bullhead, so I'm also washing that down as well. Now we need to get our toothbrush back out again and really get into this thread and cleaning it as much as we can. We want to get rid of any debris, so that normally causes it to bind. And we'll just grab a microfiber cloth and give it a one more, another once over. And also give the leg a nice dry down as well, since it's quite wet. Now on this bit, we need to clean our foot. Uh, as you can see, there's quite a bit of grime in there. So I'm going to use my toothbrush again, just put it on a 45 degree angle so the bristles get in there quite nice and all the way down to the bottom there. Give it a few turns and put a bit of pressure on that toothbrush as well because we really want it to get, loosen up that debris. Next bit, we're going to just blast it with a load of water uh, to re release that grime that we've just released. And now to just give it a little bit of a dry off. Now this is what it looked like before, uh, as you can see, and this is what it looks like after much much better way cleaner now to get our microfiber cloth into the lower section of the leg and give it a nice clean and also dry it out in the process so yeah that looks so much better now next do we need to remove the uh, ball head and as you'll see as we remove this how much water is just sitting in that space so yeah if i didn't do this it would have actually eventually binded um, as i've had in the past we need to also remove the leveling base as well and that can be done by just unscrewing this uh, knob right here. Then that allows us to get in and wipe down the leveling base and the apex as well of the tripod. So yeah, nice to get it as clean as we can or as dry as possible. Uh, that way it doesn't take as long to dry. Next we need to dry our leveling base. Um, up now I probably didn't really need to do this. Um, I just wanted to do it and it also gets rid of those uh, horrible drip marks. So yeah, that's my reason for doing it. Um, as you can see, it looks nice and it's gonna look quite nice. And another once over on the ball head, just to, as I said, to remove any of those drip marks and any bits of water we do pick up, um, it's just one less, it's gonna take less time to dry out. Now we've got everything all laid out on the paving and it's all ready to dry out in the sun. Now I did use a hairdryer to dry everything off. Now to spray the leveling base down uh, with our WD-40 and give it a little wipe um, this is just so it keeps it nice and lubricated and now also to give it a quick spray on the uh, the actual knob and the clamping plate so yeah it keeps it nice and free i don't need to wipe it down too much there now to just spray a little bit on the underside of the bull head right here this will stop it from seizing up and binding and it's uh this is how i actually install my bull heads and then just at the end there just a quick a quarter turn. Okay, now we've got the tripod foot and we just need to put some silicon spray on these uh, threads here. Now I'm also gonna put a bit in the inside there for the spike uh, threads as well. So we can easily remove it if, if need be at a later date. Now we need to grab, grab the uh, tripod leg and uh, screw it on. Now you should be careful when doing this. Uh, make sure you don't cross thread it. It shouldn't be difficult in any way. Uh, well, it should be nice and easy as it is here. And then just a little nip at the end is all that's needed. Now we're gonna put our uh, tripod clamp, our leg clamp back in, 
back on, I should say. And then we've also got our, our plastic guide as well, which will go into the next corresponding leg. Now a little bit more WD-40 silicon spray on that part here and now we're going to guide in that other leg we've just done. Uh, so here we go, just line up these uh, the lines and slide it in. Now this should not be difficult in any way, it should glide in nice and easily and just clamp it down. And now to bring in the next uh, leg, um, next piece, a uh, bit more silicon spray on there and uh, just glide that little bit of leg in there. Now the thing we don't want to do is we don't want to spray this plastic bit, we want to keep this nice and dry otherwise it will bind with the inside of the leg. Now just spray a little bit more on there and then glide that part of the leg into place. Now to undo the clamps and fully extend the tripod to its maximum height. Um, I'm also going to spray some silicon spray on the ball head, leveling base and apex and we're just going to get a microfiber cloth and rub it into all those crevices and making sure we've got the head and everything as protected as possible now I would normally take my time of duration purposes, um, I'm rushing it a little bit. Now we're going to spray a little bit of uh, WD-40 on the microfiber cloth and just give it a wipe down over the legs and, and clamps. Well that is it, that's the end of this video, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you, if you have, uh, be sure to hit that like button, it really helps out the channel and uh, even sharing it uh, really is quite beneficial. Um, if you'd uh, like to see more videos be sure to subscribe it, and we've got plenty of content coming. And, um, it, and also I'm going to do some reviews on some of the other stuff I've got that I purchased out of my own pocket um, that I think will be really benef beneficial for you. And if you're looking at uh, getting some new gear, I think it'd be good, nice as well. So it's not going to be a review, it's sort of like an, like an impression sort of thing. So yeah, um, I'm not very good at reviews and I don't really like doing it. It's a bit cringeworthy for me. Um, yeah, and if you've got any questions about anything that we've done today um, or you'd like to say anything, be sure to pop it down in the comments section. Anyway, I'm Simon, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Okay, bye for now.